Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is part six of the B-17G Flying Fortress. So we've got our stabilizers. We are just going around the edges. Do that for the wings too. Make them look pretty for some model making madness. So I know I already painted this model silver and aluminum, but we're doing it one more time with a big old spray can. Be careful with spray cans. Depending on what's in there, it can eat the paint. It can eat the plastic. So pay attention to that. That's what happens in this video just not on the parts you're seeing right here. So anyway, we are painting them an aluminum color to make them a little bit brighter, a little more realistic for this aircraft. We've got our rings. You saw me do the fuselage. I know I said rings. It's really wings, so just ignore that, please, if you will. Anyway, there are the wings. This is the bottom of the fuselage right here. And of course, then the front of the fuselage, which we'll see right now. You see as that paint goes on, it goes pretty thick and it looks really good. See how it just kind of shines. That's what I'm looking for. So I am using a chrome type of paint now and I want to give this a fresh paneled look like ones that have been replaced versus older panels. So it does look a little weird, but you see how it just kind of flows in with that thick coat there and it looks like one solid sheet. Peel off the tape. This is the paper that I use for masking. Yes, I mask a lot of stuff because I don't feel like cleaning up over Sprite. So there it is, that's a fresh panel. We did a couple of these all over the plane. Here's one more right here. I stick my fingers in some of these too, so that kind of stunk. Here are the cowls. We are painting those the regular aluminum color. Right there you see I got the insides masked off so you can see that chromy green on the inside. So now we are going to weather the turbos. Uh, you look at various pictures of these things and some of them have like this orange color around them. That's an international orange that I'm doing. This is unconventional. This is titanium buffing metalizer. I put this across the whole thing. You see I've got some um, liquid mask in there that's to kind of prevent protect the insides air so while that dries I'm going to make a bullet hole because I put my finger right there while the paint was drying because I'm impatient and I buffed it out so it looks kind of realistic now and I'm just using a bit to put what I think would be a nice size bullet hole right in the side and right here I did the same thing so I'm just going to make like one kind of scuffed off of it a little bit so I made a pink color and a kind of lightish color. And that's what we're doing right here. It's kind of light brown, light pink. It's very thin in consistency, almost like a wash. Here is another wash. We're just going around the edges. I will show you how I make this paint a little bit later. Uh, this is a tan color, kind of skin flesh, diluted it a little bit. We're just trying to get this thing some different colors in it. That way it looks more realistic. A little bit of browns, put some spots and another big splotch in there. Dab it a little bit. I have a Q-tip here, but I will use a nice foam, piece of foam. I don't know why it's a foam, but it is a piece of foam. So you see, painting this whole thing, a brown rust type of color now. It doesn't really matter how much is on there because we're going to dab a lot of it off. And this is what we are doing here. It looks really pretty, looks more realistic. Looks like something that's old and been used and rusty. Doing that little pink wash again. I like the wash, it turned out really nice. Hopefully you do yours too and make it look just as pretty. That's the goal. So here's some thin down tan, brush a little bit of that. Make them all look a little different, however you wanna do it, not a big deal. This is your model. We are also going to do some fun stuff, so keep watching the rest of the video because we are going to make holes in this plane in more spots, specifically in the turbos. So here we go, going around this one. You see, I'm just showing you all the different styles of how we can do this and what they can look like. So this is one of the smaller parts of that. We're roughing this up since it's smooth. We want it to look old and weathered. I am painting this in aluminum color. I did not uh, weather put the other stuff in there. So here I am mixing the paint. We have white, a little bit of red. This might be insignia red, I can't remember. Mixing that up, we're going to put some rust color right here. Mix a little bit into there. 
you see the colors we're getting out of that just get a little bit on there my brush is a little wet and I am applying this wet as you can see it's very thin thin down and diluted I'm going to put on some natural rust color there and you see if you use this little I'm just using some wax paper basically just dab it on gives it a different look all the way around it doesn't have to look exactly like all the pictures that you might see just make it look different and make it look used so this is the other one it's got more little raised parts on there I don't know why but it does I'm sure somebody will tell me because I don't know all the parts of the planes sue me I know anyway that's what this looks like before it falls off of my little stick there you won't see that anywho getting some more of that pinkish color weathered natural look there we will blot that and these are how you weather some exhausts turbos and I got a dark black I'm putting that on there because that's what it looked like in some of the pictures put some there this is just how natural stuff weathers when you turn on a propeller and the plane goes really fast so there we go those look very nice I like them we'll set those to the side to dry just a little bit more splotching here and we will be done with these this is one of my longer videos I don't usually make them too long but I have the cowls on I masked the tape on there and I'm going to take that off and indicate which one goes where based on the masking that way I can take off the engines that you see I didn't want those on there because they're already painted I didn't feel like masking those off a lot more to do so I just labeled this maybe there's better ways I've got liquid mask going around the rounded edges here because it was probably just easier I put on a thick coat and I put a little bit of it onto the actual tape that way it pulls off all at once you see how I did that there and this will make it look pretty which is our goal so we've got our olive drab color these are the fronts of the engines so you different coats going on here this is kind of one and a half coats got the other side that has some of that liquid mask on there painting that this is the front of the plane we're going to get that I did some of the rounded edges with liquid mask as well still working on learning how to use that stuff and you can see with these colors start out thin work your way more coats it becomes deeper in a hue which is what we want this is the cowl you see that tape I got it marked I forgot to keep my marking so I had to figure out which was which when I peeled it off another cowl right here you see just from a different angle and some of that liquid mask and you see the more coat you put on the darker it becomes it looks very pretty here's that cowl after we're done all these we're going to do some more fun stuff like take off all the masking you know because you have to see that anyway here's one of the last of the engines and the last of the cowls and you see how dark that color looks now with a bunch of coats on there so I painted these pure aluminum no primer well the rust-oleum paint that I used has lacquer and it ate everything so if your masks aren't good that can be bad because it will eat through it we're going to let those dry and we'll show you as we peel off all this right here and you see how that liquid mask actually came off with the tape that was the goal it worked so there we go this is the front that looks good and here is the cowl so we see how well those turned out and everything looks really nice you just have to fit it together and here's the other engines same thing there you go so now you see how rough this is I'm using tape to kind of peel off the liquid mask where I didn't get a good bond with the liquid mask you see right there it looks like a little arrow that didn't come out I had to kind of sand it down and it was never the same so make sure you prime your parts first when you do this that way you get a good base coat and spray a lighter coat and then build up because sometimes too much of this paint will the lacquer inside eats through everything and we don't want that model turned out all right I sanded it down a little bit so now we are going to make more masks for the tail this is the decal the letter F we are leaving some edges around there as you can see that's what it looks like when it's cut out get yourself a piece of tape we are masking the tail here 
leaving any sections that you're supposed to see bare metal. I forgot to do the triangle. I'm sorry, my bad. But here's the outline of the F, and we are going to outline this in pencil, and we are going to cut it out with our razor blade. That way we have a nice F, and it will leave an outline. Can't see it there, but we're going to put that onto the plane. There you go. You have to figure out where it goes. I'm good at eyeballing stuff. That's my specialty. So paint the prop chrome. We want this to shine. And then we are going to paint that after it dries blue. So I used blue angel blue, I believe, for this. Uh, my paint's a little too thin, so I'm just kind of slowly coating it. And you're going to see I get a little antsy with it. And it starts running down. But that's okay, because I fix it later on. So this is the other side. You see how that masking looks there. Make sure you get into the cracks of that tail rudder right there. I do get a little bit of runnage. My fault, we fix it later. So same thing, just thicker and thicker coats. Here is that prop. I've got using a brush on this. Don't know why, that's just how I decided to do it. So it does stick eventually, which is kind of strange. It goes on kind of like water and then it just magically works. And there you have it. So one more coat of this blue, pretty beautiful blue color. Peel it off, you see my runs there. This is the letter F. You know what's coming up next, right? Fun stuff, I promise. You'll like the next video. But we're not done with this one yet. So here's the yellow on the props from last video. Go see that if you didn't see it. There's that blue, turned out great. Drilling holes. I've got a drill, so I start small. That way I can at least get a good location with this. See that? Now I'm gonna put in a little bit bigger bit. That way it widens that hole up a little bit. I didn't use a file. This drill worked out perfect. Just be careful. There you go. I like it. Same thing right here. I'm gonna show you all these spots. Doesn't take long to drill these out at all matter of 10 seconds and you're done just be careful those two other areas and then you know get those under each part of the plane so paint this green right here chromate green because that's what the instructions call for and that's this video thank you for watching this is what's coming up next got our decals going to put those on the letter f and more fun stuff so thanks for watching subscribe comment and like and until next time see ya